and let's do Song of the Wind. Okay, good. Do it again and let's do it for the camera. Ready, go. Well, it's very close to perfect. Like, it's very, very close. You know what I love? Hey, mister, it's not your lesson. He wants to have a lesson too. Um, I was, what I was gonna say is, sorry, I got distracted, is that I really love your sound. Like, your sound is very, very beautiful. And your fingers fall on the tapes, which is very, very awesome. On scale one to ten, how hard do you hold the bow? Six. Can you try that song again, but make it like a three instead of a six? Here, here's the trick. I still want you to move the bow. So don't try to move it less, but hold it less, if that makes sense. All right, that's still very beautiful. Even though your bow was kind of over the fingerboard, it was still beautiful. Now, there are two ways of controlling the bow. Well, maybe there are more, but there are two main ones I can think of. One of them is hold the bow very hard. So my bow will be a little crooked. <laughs> But it doesn't go anywhere, right? It's because I'm holding it very hard. So I'm controlling the bow. That's one way. Another way is to make sure that the bow angle is perfect. You see? The bow still stays straight, right? Which way do you think is better? Holding the bow hard and having it like this, or making it perfectly straight and not holding it. The second one? The second one will. Mm -hmm. Here's what I want you to do. No matter how badly it goes, can you hold the bow, put the, put the bow on the string, 
but and leave just three fingers now on the bow one two three and these ones do this yeah and I'll play the song What do you think? Do you like it? Or you're not sure? How was the sound? Better. It was better. It was perfect. Beautiful, beautiful sound. And did you have to hold the bow a lot? In fact, if you hold the bow a lot, it gets in a way. Like things become awkward, it's hard to do the string crossings and it's hard to keep playing because it's a lot of effort, okay? That being said, I don't want you to hold the bow like with three fingers, otherwise other people will say, what kind of teacher does he have? <laughs> but when you put your fingers back on the bow, can you make sure that they're still relaxed? So fingers back, but make sure they don't hold the ball. Start down bow. Now, is there a difference in between pushing the bow down and holding the ball? Well. Yeah, there is, because I, I don't hold the ball. All I do is I push down. If I want more sound, like if I start and there is no sound, I can push the bow down, sure. So you can push the bow down, but you can't hold it a lot. Start down bow, start down bow. So where does the bow go? It goes towards the fingerboard, right? So you have to make sure when you set it, so it's not like this. It's like this. So what I do, I push the bow out just a little bit. Well, you should stop talking. You talk so much today, I can I'm not even getting one word out of you. I'm like, what do you think? You're like... Do you understand what I'm talking about? Does he speak? At home a lot. <laughs> well, I need, okay. Do you like it? Okay, so maybe we will not skip it. So remember that. Remember that? Speak. 
child, thank you very much. Okay, so place your second finger on A string. Good. Now your bow will start up on E string. Up. Mm -hmm. Now. Up, down. Up. Let's do it without the finger. Up, down. Up, down. That's down, mm -hmm. up. Which way is up? Do an up bow for me. Good. So remember that. Up, down. Good, now. Same thing, but just... Not over the fingerboard. Not over the fingerboard. Uh huh. Now we're gonna do it the other way around. Now we're gonna start down bow. And then up bow again. Up bow. How many E's did I play? Yes, the rest are A's. That's right. Do it again. Don't hold the bow hard, but look where you're placing it. Don't look at my face. My face will not help you play the violin. Doesn't he sound great? <laughs> Come on, by yourself. Uh -oh, up bow. Mm, up bow. Up bow. Two E's. That's why I don't like this song. <laughs> because every kid struggles with it so much. So, up, down on the E string. Okay. Just like that. Up, up. Up. So, two E's, one A. But you start up bow. Up, down. That's down bow. So here's what I want you to stop, think. Okay. Now say up, down. Up, down. Up, down. That was a great down, up. <laughs> up, down. That's correct. Do it three times, just up, down. It's interesting, when people start playing the violin, all of a sudden they forget all directions. This is down, this is up. <laughs> it's very hard for the body to figure out. Okay, again. Good. And the last note will be A. That was a great down up. Down. Uh, down. 
you were doing so well and then you stopped and you did another down bow. Up, down, up. Here's, here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna do shadow bowing. You know how to do shadow bowing? Take your bow in a fist and turn it upside down like this. No, 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 in a fist. Mm -hmm. Put it on your elbow. And now you do up, down, up. Just like that. Down, up. Good. And again. Up, down, up. Okay. Now, on the violin. It's when you... It's just to practice direction of the bow. You played that one extra E. How many E's? Two. E, E, A. Which way did you just start? Down? Which way are you supposed to start? Mm -hmm. You have 50-50 chance, boy. Either up or down. Yes! <laughs> yes! Now you choose. How many times would you like to do it? In between 5 and 10. 8. Okay, hard worker. There we go. I would have chosen 5. No, that was down bow. That was correct. That was perfect. So that's time number one. That's time number two. That's time number three. Keep going. You know what's funny about this is that Starting up bow for kids, it's like learning how to ride a bicycle. Like it just doesn't click. And once it clicks, it's like... That was number, what, five? Okay, let's count it as number five. Three more times. That was perfect, actually, because it happens exactly like this. First it happens up bow, and then it happens down bow. So I'm glad you didn't stop. So, first one starts up bow. Second starts up down bow. So they're like mirror reflection. Do you know what mirror reflection is? That things are on opposite sides from where they are. Did you ever notice that? You did? Okay, so that's why I call it mirror refraction. reflection. One starts up bow, another one starts down bow. And just the last one is this. E A A A A. Oh, E A A A A. You're playing E E E A A A A E A A A A. Yes, but start tempo. E A A A A. Good. Do it again. E A A A A. Good enough. Today is November what? 18? 18. This is O Come Little Children. That's why I don't like teaching. This is the sign for Abbo. So this is down. It looks like a frog, right? Like the square from the frog. This looks like the tip. So, up, down, up, down, E, E, A, E, E, O, I get it.
Oh, that's brilliant. I should have come up with that sooner than that. <laughs> okay, good. Now, So you do the same thing? No, 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 no. You start up bow again. E. Good, good, good. Now. E, G, B, B, C. Do you read music? Like notes? Did we do that? Oh, yeah, you do. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. You have some notes written in. Okay. Here's the music for it. So you see, up, down. Can you follow with your with the pencil where I'm playing? No, no, no. Can you follow with the pencil like this? Take the pencil and follow where I'm playing. Put the pencil right there and move it as I play. Good. I just want to make sure you know. Where one, two, ready, go. <coughs> ready, go. You're here. What note is this? D. And then? Mm -hmm. Just play D, B, B, C, B, B, C. Will the composer D, B is what finger? Play a B for me. There you go. So it's D, B, B, C. How many bees? Two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now make sure your bow goes straight. Remember, you're not holding it. Good, very nice. Now play the whole first line. Do you want me to write in the note names? Will. You missed a few notes, but that's that's correct. Okay, yeah, so let's do it that slowly. I think it works really nice when you do it that slowly. Okay, do it again just like you did just now. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> think before.
before you start, okay? what happens after that same thing right so that that thing right there it happens twice so that's half of the song I want you to try to figure out the whole song by yourself at home like write in the note names do whatever you gotta do but figure the whole song out You can play very slowly, like you did now. But what's important is the right bowing. Um, we're done. Good job. <laughs> 